What you're seeing there is the uh, reception hall, also takes in canteen and souvenir shops and other displays. And as we look around the grounds, some stuff in storage there. Oh, barbecue. Parts of the uh, electrical, whatever, and of course the uh, administration hall. And there is a train waiting for us. We'll ride that a bit later. Barbecue tables scattered around the place. Marjorie's on duty and she's about to head out. Running out to Leggett's Drive. seen some of my earlier videos. Still named Jack we recorded him to. We'll take a closer look at one of those little uh, photo displays in a moment. Actually, we'll take a look at a few of them. Since my last visit in July, they've put these up uh, over near where the uh, train departs out to, toward Leggett's Drive. Uh, some of these I got the captions, but not all of them. Just black and white photos. Here's another one. I didn't get the captions to all of them, so I don't try to read them. But if you happen to visit the uh, Richmond Vale Railway Museum on any of the three Sundays that it's open, you can have a look for yourself. There's three together. Of course, Richmond Vale Railway Museum is open on the first, second and third Sundays. Now, this loco has seen better days. It's not a 10 class as far as I can tell. It has a rake of uh, preserved coal hoppers. One of the, some of the few that did survive the fire 
back in September 2017. There's a XBHP diesel there. The loco has no number. I'm guessing it might be a 10 class, but I doubt it. Over in the distance, ROD 2003. We'll have a closer look at that a bit later. This is the museum and administration building for the uh, Richmond Vale Railway Museum. It uh, houses static displays on the ground floor and up on the first floor, if I believe, is private residence, although it may be used for some meetings. I know to Americans you are looking at the first floor there and now you're looking at the ground floor. You on eight steps, stone steps leading up to the building. As we pan around to our right, we see the loco Marjorie and its two carriages returning from one of their trips out to Leggett's Drive. We will be riding with Marjorie a bit later in the video. I shoot, of course, the return leg rather than both directions. That rear carriage gives me a good vantage point. The camera looking straight out the window of the back door there. As you'll see. I was hoping I might get uh, an hour's worth of content, but well, I got at least close to half an hour. Okay, here comes my first piece to camera. Just a little bit of an 
interest, a little intro sequence, me driving into the grounds. Not a lot to report, I'm afraid. Doesn't seem to be much happening here. The uh, rail line across the door main still out of action. Hopefully, maybe next year. Okay, that's it for me until I do my little piece of camera at the end. Okay. And that little uh, effect was created by masking. Down there is an archive and word has it that down in that room it's haunted. But I would hope that the ghosts are polite and only spook when spoken to. And I've used that old joke quite a few times too. Here's a close and look at ROD 2003 from the front end and then just panning around. Now we get a side on view. Oh, 2004, not 2003, my mistake. Whoops. Missed it by that much, Chief. Here's another look at the museum and administration building. Ground and first floors. And I think even the top floor might even be haunted. And over there, as you see, is the kitty ride. Kids just love riding on that. And I should point out, though, a disclaimer, this video is not intended for kids, even though kids do appear in the video. That just can't be helped. Okay, here we go. Oh dear. That's what I only From Leggett's Drive back to the uh, museum grounds. And a little insert shot showing inside the carriage. main shots in this video are done by a, a Canon, uh, sorry, Sony Handycam HDR CX405 and insert shots are done with uh, the um, Canon Magria. Yeah, but not as severe as I would have been if I had Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. 
Oh, it's a train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the same with the tram and the tram on the tram. the grounds of Brisbane Vale Railway Museum are no longer accessible to the uh, uh, visitor. Safety concerns mainly, but uh, it's a pity because there was quite a lot of interesting stuff to be seen. Monday they may reopen the whole grounds again. There's RD200. Four. I've got to write this down. Here's 
another insert. Just showing some of the stuff that's scattered along the track and uh, this uh, device we're coming up on now, we'll do a closer look at it until we turn the camera away from the other side of the carriage of course. Uh, Well, that's the ride over and done with. The obligatory ride. What you're seeing there is a mock-up of a uh, Bondi tram. It takes quite a place in the canteen area, in the cafeteria area, in the uh, reception hall. And for me, one last word. Well, that's my day at Richmond Vale Railway Museum. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, <coughs> some information I uh, get from a couple of the guys on the uh, loco. Apparently they do have the uh, gear to build the trestle. It's just that there's a lot of work involved in getting everything done so it could be probably late next year before we see any trains going across to Pillow Maine but we'll keep visiting and keep an eye on this place okay I hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a comment below like subscribe share the video if you like uh, you may have some friends who will be interested in this video. Okay. That's it for me. Bye bye. <laughs>